Welcome back everybody and tonight an update to an action news investigation centering on that large hole in the ground in Elizabeth borough. Taxpayer money was allocated for the stalled project and now we've learned a state police investigation is underway. Investigative reporter Paul Manazdal brings us up to speed this evening. Paul. Well, Andrew, two years ago, 600,000 taxpayer dollars were allocated for a parking lot. And all there is to show for it is this hole in the ground. Now, Action News Investigates has learned state police are asking local officials where the money went. It's been two years since State Representative Mike Puskarek announced $625,000 in grants to tear down an old moose lodge and build a parking lot. But the project came to a halt last year after the building was demolished. Some area residents wonder why so much money was set aside for a net gain of 10 parking spots. That doesn't make sense. It shouldn't cost that much money to put in that small amount of parking spots. They should be uh, doing something a little bit better with that money. Last month, Action News Investigates reported that Allegheny County pulled the plug on a $325,000 grant for the parking lot project because the Elizabeth Area Development Corporation did not follow bidding rules. Now, sources tell Action News Investigates that state police have questioned Borough Council President Chad Rager about the project. They've also reached out to others familiar with the project, including a local businessman who's been critical of Puskarek and the Development Corporation. Area residents hope the renewed focus on the hole in the ground will result in getting it filled in. The people who have held this back from being developed after spending so much money, uh, maybe they'll see this and they'll say, well, we better do something about this. Now, no comment tonight from the borough council president. The borough actually had nothing to do directly with this project. Instead, it was done by the development corporation with the support of Puskarek. No comment tonight from them either. Reporting live in Elizabeth, Paul Van Osdahl, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.